Hello everyone, my name is Upham. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a moving object or moving text into Sony Vegas without the background. So that way you can layer your moving item on top of a clip or on top of a still image. Um, it is actually quite simple to do but all the tutorials I've seen online have all been to do with After Effects and if you want to cut After Effects out of the equation and just go from your your 3D editing software straight into your video editing software this is a way to do it so make yourself your 3D moving item in this case I made myself a Rubik's Cube a um, couple of clever keyframes and it falls magically out of the sky and does a little bounce I mean nice and simple you could do it with text you there's loads of different things that you guys can do but what we're going to focus on is rendering this film so it doesn't have a background so we can layer it on top of something and it's all to do with the render settings so we go into our render settings normal bits and bobs at the top you choose what output you want it as uh, make sure the frame range make sure all frames are selected we're not just capturing one frame we want the whole the whole shebang when saving it you want to create yourself a little folder um, I've, this is a Rubik's Cube I've made so I've made myself a little folder called cube you would go into there and you say that you're going to call it cube when do you render it out it will render it out in this folder for you format you want the format to be PNG normally when I render out a movie I do it as a quick time movie but in this instance we're going to render it out as images so PNG now my um, Rubik's Cube I think was like 16 or 20 frames long so we're going to render out 16 to 20 pictures PNG pictures and if we select this alpha channel right here make sure that box is ticked when it renders out these pictures it will render them out without the background so let's go and have a look at that once you've rendered your item they'll all appear inside a little folder like this so here you go here's here's what we've just created and here's our 16 frames as 16 pictures if you open any of these up you'll see that here's my my Rubik's Cube or my text whatever it chooses you choose to uh, make it hasn't got a background. Brilliant for layering on top of an image. So let's uh, close this down and go into Sony Vegas. So first off we want to get whatever it is we're layering onto. You could do it as a video. Uh, in this case I'm just going to layer it on top of a picture. Nice and easy. So here's my picture. Just a still image. I want to insert another video track and at this point if you wanted to you could say you just to layer in just a one still image you could go and find that project that you've just made uh, clips for edits no it was in misc so here's here's another tutorial that i made so if i brought just this one in you can see look it says tutorial so it's just my one still image and no matter where i'm along here it's just that's the still image. What we want is all of these images to make up a little video, basically kind of like a slideshow. So to do this, what you would do is click File, Import, Import Media. You find what it is that you want to import. So I'm going to import my cube. Um, open this up, select the first one so cube 0000 will be tutorial 000 whatever your item is and open still image sequence this is why I said make yourself your own little folder for it because it will make um, an image sequence out of any images that are in there so do it for open still image within this folder you'll see here look range 0 to 16 we know there are 16 frames there are 16 pictures so here's the range 0 to 16 click open it'll come up and it'll ask you to name it well, we're going to name it surprisingly cube click OK and here it is in our uh, project media tab here's our cube and we'll drag that down and if we now key along we can see up in the preview window 
We'll see our cube coming out of the sky. Bouncing onto the bar. Look at that, it's a giant cube! So, I mean, we, you can then start editing and playing around with this item as per normal. Uh, so I'm going to length it a little bit. You can also play around with the event pan crop, just like you would like normally. I'm, I'm not going to in this instance. Um, and voila, there you have a magic item, 3D item, be it text, or in this case a cube, without the background, appearing in Sony Vegas. Nice and simple.